Now over to our own genie in the Beko kitchen, Chef Mark. What have you got on the dessert menu today? Right, we've got a classic today. This is not my coffee, what I drink in the morning. This is part of the recipe. So we've got coffee, Excellent. ladies' fingers, cream, mascarpone, and amaretto. Uh, just, uh, just might check have a wee. that. <laughs> yep, no, it all seems to be in order. So that can only mean tiramisu. So a classic Italian recipe, really simple and uh, perfect for any time of the week. And you say it's really simple. It is. It's really simple, and I'm going to well, I'm going to get you to make it or show you how to make it. <laughs> Not entirely sure about that, but nevertheless, I might drink the, the, the ingredients before we get there. Also excited, Mark, about your tiramisu, which I believe literally means pick me up. Yeah, well, you learn something new every day. You do when you've got Google at your fingertips. <laughs> yeah. It is actually my favourite dessert bar none, though. If I'm in a restaurant and it's on the menu, I have to order it. So oh, it is a classic, and, the, and there's so many different ways of making it. But just you know, keep it classic, keep it simple, and it's and it's a fantastic dessert. Cool. What have we got to do now? Right. So we're going to make the uh, the the cream mix. So we've got some cream for that. So. I'm, I've been I'm hearing gonna... rumours about cream in the past in this kitchen <laughs> with Mike and his whipping skills or I'm, lack thereof. Exactly. I'm going to get you to make it because you're a bit freaked out about this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And okay. at the end of the day, if you don't over whip the cream, you'll have a fantastic dessert. Quick question for you on whipped cream in general. Obviously, we're yep. putting this with other ingredients. But if you were just doing a whipped cream to go with maybe some fruit, do you put icing, sugar, vanilla, anything in it or you just leave it as is? I personally, I'd put a little bit of icing sugar in just yep. to bring a little bit of sweetness or vanilla. Right. Um, but yeah, vanilla works really well in there nice. with cream. But if you don't want it sweet, you know, just, just leave it as whipped cream. That's cool. Right, so, so there's a funny story about okay, this. We, yes, we, please. we did this with Mike and <laughs> I, I can't even remember what we were making, but we, you know, I was doing something over here and, and explaining that and I just got Mike to whip the cream over there. Yep. And he was like, you know, he was complaining a bit and he kept going. I kept looking over and he was all right. And then I did something else, I looked over and he created butter. Right, so you were going to spread that on the Vogels for breakfast the next day, <laughs> yeah, and so you're away laughing. Again, yeah, so you have to start again. And so as long as you don't whip it, you, you're fine. The problem when you're whipping cream is I find that all the pieces, bits and pieces on my body tend to jiggle, and uh, <laughs> you can't see that, which is a good thing, but I can certainly feel it. It's a workout. Right, so we've got the cream in there, I've got a little bit of vanilla extract in there, or you could use fresh uh, vanilla pot if you wanted, whatever you've got, and there's some sugar in there as well. And we're just going to whip it, and we want it to soft peaks. So that's just, as it starts to thicken and you get a little trail with the whisk, that's when we've got to stop. Okay, that's so. That's when Mike didn't stop. No, and he just <laughs> kept going. That's... And if you do if you do a figure of eight when you're Figure whipping, of eight? Yeah, oh, you... now you're asking me to do something. No, I was never, <laughs> hand eye. <-call. laughs> Figure of eight, does that sort of speed it up? And... Yeah, because you, you sort of, you're getting more air into it. So if you sort of do that figure of eight, you know, it does take a bit of practice and then it okay. uses the whole yeah, bottle. You don't need does. to though, you know. It's just, it's just all about getting the air in. You can see it sort of, you know, it's expanding a little bit in yep. volume. You're getting that air through it. So just keep going. We're not too far off. Okay. What's and then, this? And then I've got some mascarpone cheese. Okay. So this is so this is your other sort of classic ingredient in the in the tiramisu. Absolutely. And you just need to take this out of the fridge and have this at room temperature, because is we're going to fold that into there. Oh right. Now this is the the folding is the problem I normally have. Um, I wouldn't know how to fold a sheet if it hit me in the face. So. <laughs> When it comes to folding into cream, I'm still going with this. this yeah, actually... no, keep going, still going. So you're nearly there. You can give it a little bit more. Um, yeah, well just, if you I want. tend to be getting spat as a cream all over my jacket, but that's okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's all right. It's Mike's jacket. <laughs> Got a bit of a glow on. It's all right. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy this cooking, like you know. You, you, There's you, a reason you're getting gem. me to do this, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Right, John, to take over. Yeah, I do actually. Okay, all right. <laughs> yes. So, so if you, you can, you know, you do this, oh, the figure see. of eight. Um, and you can see it's just sort of starting to thicken now. Yep. So I'm just trying to I'm spilling it everywhere. Yep. So you just got to be really, really careful. And then it's like watching paint dry. Yeah, isn't it, it is a little bit. <laughs> just... And we'll get to that stage. It's okay. Starting to pop thicken. that in there, and we've got to fold that through. Yeah. No, I'm going to pop that in there, and I'm going to whisk it back up because it will loosen the cream, and I'll whisk it back up to soft peaks, and then I'll show you the next stage when okay. we come back. We look forward to seeing that shortly, and we'll find out how to layer it all up. Now, though, it is time for tiramisu, Mark. We're going to put this puppy together. What do we have to do now? Right. So we've got the mascarpone in there. We've mixed it around, and now the amaretto. Ooh, so yes. that goes My in there. Bit. And so this is folding. 
So you want to sort of scrape around from the edge of the bowl and then go in, give it a couple of stirs and keep doing that. And, and so the reason sort of for that is it we're over. not taking air out, is that... Well, we're not taking air out and we're just a little bit more sort of careful rather than a whisk. Cool. Because if you keep going now, that, that will split, right? So there's your cream layer. That's all right. good. All right. Coffee into a bowl. Yep. So Sam's made this earlier, so it's really good. Nice and warm. And then we've got these ladyfinger biscuits, which we're going to dunk in. And you just want to give them, you know, maybe about sort of 10, 20 seconds. You can see it's just uh, soaking up all that coffee. Otherwise, you end up with a <laughs> soggy biscuit like that. <laughs> exactly. Right, so just be quite careful. I should have got you to do this. God, this would have been a disaster with my kids. It would have been a disaster with me too, to be fair. <laughs> So, so, like, literally, for, let's call it seven seconds, so yeah, you don't seven, get... seven seconds, and a good tip here, do one at a time, yeah. <laughs> rather than putting, like, three in. Otherwise, it, yeah, it gets really soggy. Okay, that's gone well. Yep. Yep, no, that's, that's good. So, you, you're soaking up all the, um... No, we'll get some more, that's really soggy. <laughs> Uh, but that's good. That, that's, that, that's what you want, though, you know, when you, in, and you've got the layers. You want that you know, really beautiful sort of coffee flavour in there. Yeah. Right, so that's a nice layer of uh, the biscuits. And then a layer of the cream that goes good. on. They, they do actually look a little bit like sausages. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you could swap it now out. Now we're adding the sausages. mash, just need some peas yeah. and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Oh, no peas. So we, what do we do? We, uh, we just keep layering essentially like that and, yep. and fill it. And we're just until... going gonna to keep layering yep. as you get to the top and then we'll do the top layer and then we'll just do a generous uh, sprinkle of cocoa powder on the top. Generous and cocoa, two yep. words I like to hear together. And, <laughs> and then that just goes in the fridge just to uh, set up for a couple of hours. But if you can't wait, you, you know, it is still edible straight away. I'm pleased to hear that because yeah. we'll be trying it very, very <laughs> soon indeed. And uh, yeah. So it works, so essentially we're going to layer those, what, you'll do another layer of that cream yep. and then it's the cocoa yep. goes on top. Yep, until you get it all uh, all finished and it's all layered and you've got all your ingredients have been used up. Fantastic. And that's it. And if you make a double recipe, you can make a huge one. And you can probably have half of it for yourself before you end exactly. up serving it to the guests. Do you know what, it's, I've, actually you've dispelled some of the myths I had because I actually thought it was really hard and that <laughs> you appear to have made it quite easy. Yeah, to put it. That term it is. Together. It's really easy. You know, you can make this in the morning, let it set, and then you can you can eat it at lunchtime before anyone comes home. How long would it tend to keep for if you d you were making it? You know, could you make it a couple? <laughs> like not around here, about that it would, ten minutes. Yeah, I know that. So, is it something you no, can make? You know, a few days beforehand, or not ideally? I wouldn't make it too far in advance right. because you've got all that liquid coffee in there, and it could uh, sort of split and right. uh, okay. separate. Um, you know, it definitely keep overnight. There you go, right. look at that, tidy up the bowl and that is good to go. It is going to be delicious. Of course you can find the recipe on our website, thecafe.co.nz. Now Mark Martel is almost ready to perform, but we do have some time for some tiramisu, Mark. Look at that, it's all ready. It's not even had a chance to go in the fridge because uh, someone's calling me. That's Mel. fine, yeah, I don't I'm mind. It up. So fine. I've got some spoons and I've got a special spoon for Mel. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's so excited. Oh, there you go. It looks fantastic. So what's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got cheesy pesto rolls. Yum.